हेलो एवरी वन होप एवरी वन इज प्रिपेयरिंग फॉर अपकमिंग एम्स नॉर्थ सेट टू थाउजेंड ट्वेंटी टू एग्जाम्स एंड वी द मीटेड टीम आर ऑलवेज दैट टू सपोर्ट एंड गाइड यू वी हैव प्रोवाइडिंग मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज ऑलरेडी वी हैव प्रोवाइडेड फाइव मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज इफ यू वॉन्ट टू वॉच इट प्लीज गो टू द चैनल एंड चेक इट आउट एंड टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट मॉक टेस्ट सीरीज सिक्स इन दिस ऑल इम्पोर्टेंट रिपीटेडली एस्ड क्वेश्चन आर डिस्कस्ड अलॉन्ग विद द रेशनल Please watch the video. If you like the video, please like it, share it, subscribe it, and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Let's begin the session. The first question is: Covillary uterus is a pathological condition associated with postem placenta, revealed abruptio placenta, concealed abruptio placenta, placenta previa. And here the right answer is option C. concealed abruptio placenta let's see the rational see covillary uterus it is also called as uteroplacental apoplexy it is a severe form of concealed abruptio placenta in which blood flows into the myometrium on physical examination the uterus will be like you know enlarged tense and dark port wine color so that's why we selected the option C concealed abruptio placenta accidental hemorrhage is also known as vasa previa placenta previa ablatio placenta circumvallate placenta it is a direct question and here the right answer is option C ablatio placenta a nurse need to check the most important parameter if the patient is on magnesium sulfate therapy options or urine output more than 30 ml per hour presence of knee jerk reflex respiration is less than 12 per minute wrongly it is given more than actually it is less than 12 per minute bp less than 140 by 90 mm of hg and here the right answer is option c respiration is less than 12 per minute the rational behind this is Magnesium sulfate is relatively safe drug for mother and baby but sometime it may produce some maternal side effect or toxicity like decreased respiration rate less than 12 per minute most common and severe cause of magnesium sulfate toxicity will cause respiratory failure loss of deep tendon reflex urine output less than 30 ml per hour chest pain and hot block in 20 twin transfusion syndrome in short tts in donor twin underline the word donor twin all the signs and symptoms are present except oligohydromnia plethora hypovolemia anemia and here the right answer is option b plethora let's see the rational tts or tops Twin oligohydromnia polyhydromnia syndrome is a disease of the placenta that affect identical twins which have a common monochorionic placenta the transmission causes the donor twin it is also called as stuck twin to have hypovolemia hypotension anemia oligohydromnia and growth restriction all these features are present in the donor twin whereas recipient twin It is also called as eye drop twin to have a large size with hydromnia, polycythemia, plethora, circulatory overload. Smaller twins have better outcome, whereas recipient twin has a risk of congestive heart failure and eye drop. See, plethora means excess amount of blood or fluid volume inside the body, which cause circulatory overloads. A double-headed monster is known as. diplophagus dicephalus craniophagus heterophagus here the right answer is option b dicephalus the rational is thoracophagus most commonly seen problem is thoracophagus what is this it is a twins joined in the region of thorax in the thorax region the twins are joined esophagus twins joined in the region of pelvis Pyophagus twins joined in the region of back. Craniophagus twins joined in the region of head. Dicephalus is also called as double-headed monster. The lower part more or less fused into one. 
but the baby has two heads that is called as double headed monster since a phallus here the baby has single head single headed monster one head with a single face but four ears and two bodies will be there so these are all the different types area stellar reaction is not seen in ovarian pregnancy interstitial pregnancy molar pregnancy salphangitis isthmica nodosa and here the right answer is option d salphangitis isthmica nodosa Aries cellular reaction occurs due to progesterone influence and characterized by adenomatous changes of the endometrial gland an expected symptoms of ruptured ectopic pregnancy would be high blood glucose level sudden excruciating pain in the lower abdomen severe bleeding sign of shock and here the right answer is option b sudden excruciating pain in the lower abdomen see symptom of ruptured ectopic pregnancy are acute agonizing excruciating and colicky pain in the lower abdomen region and also pain will be there in the shoulder tip feeling of nausea vomiting syncope attack and vaginal bleeding is also very common which sign is seen one week after an intrauterine fetal death due to irregular overlapping of cranial bones with liquidification of brain matter stalworthy sign placental sign piscasix sign spalding sign the right answer is option d spalding sign the rational is spalding sign is an indicator of intrauterine fetal death in which abdominal ultrasound shows an overriding or overlapping of the fetal cranial bones usually appear seventh day after the death of the fetus robert sign found in placenta previa abruptio placenta intrauterine fetal death identifier mole and here the right answer is option c intrauterine fetal death robert sign refers to the presence of gas shadow within the heart and great blood vessels in case of intrauterine fetal death the septic abortion where the infection spread beyond the uterus to the parametrium tubes and ovaries or pelvic peritoneum is considered as grade 1 grade 2 grade 3 and grade 4 and here the right answer is option b grade 2 the rational behind this is any abortion which is associated with infection of the uterus or product of conception is called septic abortion and there are some clinical gradings they are grade 1 infection is localized to the uterus grade 2 infection spread beyond the uterus to the parametrium tubes ovaries or pelvic peritoneum grade 3 generalized peritonitis toxic shock or jaundice or acute renal failure mostly with illegally induced abortion mcdonald suturing is done in missed abortion septic abortion recurrent abortion complete abortion and here the right answer is option c recurrent abortion McDonald or Shirogdar operation is performed at 14 week of pregnancy in recurrent or habitual abortion more than 3 consecutive spontaneous abortion within 20 weeks caused by cervical incompetence so this is the indication for McDonald suturing cerclage encircling cervix with suture is done for the patient with which abortion or condition options are complete abortion incomplete abortion incompetence cervix threatened abortion the right answer is option c incompetent cervix and the rational behind this is the use of stitch number 2 monofilament suture or more commonly used stitching material around the cervix at 12 to 14 weeks of gestation to treat the cervical incompetent is called cervical cerclage stitch should be removed at 37th weeks or earlier if the labor pain starts or feature of abortion is noted blighted ovum means 
ovum with embryo ovum without embryo ovum in lower part of the uterus ectopic pregnancy and here the right answer is option b ovum without embryo and the rational is blighted ovum also called as an embryonic pregnancy it means a fertilized ovum attached to the uterine wall but does not develop into an embryo underline this word does not develop into an embryo absence of the fetal fold in the gestational sac due to high level of chromosomal abnormalities this is the meaning of blighted ovum the most common cause of spontaneous abortion is physical trauma congenital deformity unresolved stress germ plasm defects and here the right answer is option d germ plasm defects so the rational behind this is commonest 50 percentage causes of spontaneous abortions or chromosomal abnormalities or genetic factor or germ plasm defect most common is trisomy 16 Other causes are endocrine and metabolic factors, infection, anatomical abnormalities like incompetent cervix. In which type of abortion is the fetus dead and retained inside the uterus for a variable period? Options are inevitable, missed, incomplete abortion and threatened abortion. And here the right answer is option B, missed abortion. The rational behind this is abortion in which the fetus has died before completion of 20th week of gestation but the product of conception are retained inside the uterus for 8 weeks or longer that is called as missed abortion or silent miscarriage all of the following are the symptoms of incomplete abortion except history of bleeding per vagina uterine size less than period of amenorrhea closed cervical os history of passage of product of conception and here the right answer is option c closed cervical os and the rational is an abortion in which entire product of conception or not expelled but a part of it is left inside the uterus is called incomplete abortion its com- clinical features or history of passage of fleshy mass per vaginum followed by continuation of the pain in the lower abdomen persistent vaginal bleeding size of the uterus is less than the period of amenorrhea open cervical os that can admit a tip of the finger bleeding in the first trimester with no uterine contraction or pain and no dilatation of the cervix indicates missed abortion threatened abortion inevitable abortion and complete abortion and here the right answer is option b threatened abortion and the rational is clinical feature of threatened abortion or slight bright red painless vaginal bleeding with or without mild backache or full pain in lower abdomen uterus cervix feels soft and external os is closed One of the complication of hyperemesis gravidum is increased vomiting, dehydration, Korsakoff psychosis, low BP. Actually option C is Korsakoff psychosis. Please correct the mistake. Here there is a spelling mistake. And here the right answer is option C Korsakoff psychosis. The rational is complication of hyperemesis gravidum or neurological complication like Wernicke's encephalopathy. here there is an vitamin b1 that is thiamine deficiency will be there the common feature or nystagmus ataxia and korsakoff psychosis it is also because of vitamin b1 thiamine deficiency memory impairment will be there apart from that stress ulcer esophageal tear or else mallory vs syndrome there is a tear in the inner part of the esophagus because of severe vomiting that is called as mallory vs syndrome hepatic failure convulsion coma renal failure these are all other complications of hyperemesis gravidum hyperemesis gravidum starts before 26 week of pregnancy 24 week of pregnancy 22nd week of pregnancy 20th week of pregnancy and here the right answer is option d 20 weeks of pregnancy 
The rational is the symptoms of hyperemesis gravidum usually start between 4 to 7 week of gestation and resolved by 16 weeks in about 90 percentage of women. Which of the following indicate an abnormal physical finding during second trimester of pregnancy? Options are consistent increase in fundal height, fetal heart rate of 180 beats per minute, Braxtonix contraction quickening and the right option is option B that is fetal heart rate of 180 beats per minute. The normal fetal heart rate in the second trimester is 140 to 160 beats per minute which decreases to 120 to 140 beats per minute in the third trimester. Quickening The first fetal movement are called quickening. Quickening happens around 16 to 20 weeks of pregnancy. Braxton X contraction also called as false contraction is also known as practice contraction or false labor or uterine contractions that may start around 6 weeks of pregnancy. However, they are usually felt in the second or third trimester of pregnancy. So guys, hereby I am ending the session of mock test series 6. So if you want to contact us, please contact us through the phone number, address and website given here. And if you like this video, please like it, share it, subscribe it and don't forget to click on the bell icon. Thank you once again.